Hey everybody, Jason Burmis here, and normally I don't do these type of videos, but I think that this one is kind of important. So, just uh, a couple weeks back, me and my brother, we went down to New York City, and uh, we went to MSG. And I hadn't been to the city, I oh, jeez, it's got, it's it's a while. I, I want to say maybe four years, maybe, maybe less than that. Well, I, I, I went New Year's, but I took the train in, and I literally went from Penn Station uh, to MSG and then down, so I really don't consider that much of a city trip. However, me and my brother were just like, man, this this feels so much like a third world nation. There just isn't anywhere else where the people are so compact, the traffic is utterly ridiculous, and the police just don't care. They just do not care in most instances. And that's why I'm going to show you this video here. Now, before we even get to the uh, video, Peter Green a character actor that I'm sure many of you are extremely familiar with. Not only is he the villain in The Mask, but he uh, he's also <clears throat> one of the guys that uh, is a not-so-good cop in Pulp Fiction. You've seen him everywhere. He, he's, he's in just about everything. He's a, he's a big-time working actor. Now, here we are in New York City, and I'm warning everybody, spoiler, it's violent, there's cursing, it's a crazy scene. If you don't want to, uh, is it Zed? I was wondering if it was Zed or the other guy. Uh, like, is that Zed or is Zed the bearded guy? Because I'm a big Pulp Fiction fan. It's been a few years since I've seen it. But what I want to point out is right here, we have two police officers. It's hard to tell, but that's a man and a woman, okay? I believe the woman's like right here behind him. This one may not be a, a traffic cop. But the woman that's acting crazy is this woman right here. Okay, she's right here. She's literally five feet away from these people. And finally, someone just has enough. So again, we're, we're going to show you the inaction of police. We're going to show you the third world country that New York City really is and how an actor has to step in. And when he does step in, he shames the men around him for not stopping the fight and doesn't even mention the police. And the one guy's like, the cops are right there. He's like, for, I'm not going to say what he says. But he's like, you're a man, do something. This guy's 53 years old, by the way, riding by on a bike. So, oh, you know, I'm probably going to stop it a few times, but here we go. Now the cops are right there, and this bitch is spitting on people. That's assault. So there you go. You see her? She's spitting on people. And the cops are standing right there. This woman just walked right up to this woman and spit on her. That's enough. Where's the police? The police officer here. So I can just go back a little bit here. Two cops right here. She's already hit her. Two cops right here. She's already hit her. What is going on here? So again, one guy. Hey, look at look at this guy. Yeah, he's gonna. He can't stop the fight. Nah, he's wearing a striped shirt. He's not much of a man. So on top of that, what do we got over here? We got another guy filming it from the other angle, not doing anything. Another guy walking over, and we have two police officers around the corner, around the corner. <laughs> So there he is, there he is, the hero of the day, Peter Green, and he stepped in and said, you know what, this is ridiculous, why can't people do anything about it? He's telling them stop fighting, of course, that's not happening, let's go. Hey, 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 don't, 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 no, stop, stop, her. stop her, stop her, stop her with the red, brother, Yo, stop her with the red. Why are you pointing and not helping? Why are you telling a 53-year-old man to, to stop this fight? Medico, stop it. Fuck stop it. Stop it. This is not necessary. Stop. She spits on her again. She spits on her again. The cops are standing right there. This woman doesn't go to jail. Do you understand this? For all the actual crazy abuse of police officers that we see out there, I keep telling everybody, listen, there's bad seeds and all. Just because you're a cop, you're not a bad person. But the inaction of these two, two police officers is unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Oh, man. Peter Green, big ups. Here we go. He's not done. Oh, 
Why are you get people to stop it? What's the matter with you? Yeah, you let them fight? Exactly. You're a grown man. What the fuck's wrong? No, tell, tell, tell you! Tell stop the traffic, fight between two women. To stop it. Get a man! Well, you know what? Again, you had a man and a woman there. But I I'm with him, man. Stop the fight. Like, all these guys just sitting there watching. Watch again. No, tell, tell you! Stop tell the traffic, fight between two women. To stop it. Get a man at you! How can they not stop it? You stop it! right here. And I mean, again. You got police officers standing there. Doing nothing. This woman's still standing there. Bloody. Nothing. Doing nothing. Just watch. Just watch. What is going on? And guys, you know, I grew up in uh, the Dutchess County area. I went down to Brooklyn quite a bit as a kid. Uh, I, I specifically remember... Uh, when I was a kid down on the pier, back when there were a lot more bootleg shops, people were selling T-shirts, and the the guy with the watches and the overcoat, the thing you see in, like, Coming to America was very real. And I'll never forget, you know, I was with my uh, with my parents and my dad, and he had us pretty close, you know, telling us to stay by him. And this guy just starts uh, approaching us, talking nuts. Just, I, I even as a kid, I'm, I probably wasn't more than eight or nine, maybe even less, Hearing him, I was like, what's going on with this guy? So he's telling him, uh, my dad, how he does karate and all this stuff and yada, yada, yada. And then as, as we're walking, he keeps walking with us. And he walks up to one of the street vendors with the watches, asks him to see the watch, and then slams the watch on the ground. And I mean, this wasn't like a, a jacked guy or anything like that. He's like a crazy person. Gets into a karate stance like, let's go, let's go. And the other guy just looks at him like, oh, my God. So crazy is crazy. I've seen it all my life. But the inaction of police officers in that, that a character actor from Pulp Fiction and Blue Streak and The Mask and Under Siege 2, I go on and on and on and on and on. He has to step in to stop a woman. I mean, and I mean, let's, let's talk about it. What would you do if someone walked up to you on the street and spit in your face? You gonna be very Christian about it? You gonna be able to? You gonna be able to turn that cheek? Are you? Are you really? I don't know that I'm gonna be able to turn that cheek. I feel threatened if someone comes up and spits in my face. And I mean, I just I, I'm still blown away that that was not the first woman that she did this to, or person that she did this to. There's so many aspects of this that we should be. Uh, uh, hey, Jason, they're not cops. What? What are they? They're they're traffic agents. That listen. Even if they're even if they're traffic agents, they they they're they're law enforcement, are they not? Wanka me off. <laughs> I just said that on the air. Great, uh, whatever. Traffic. I, I don't care. They're police officers. They are absolutely, absolutely police officers. They get the same pension as those other guys. Maybe not the same pay. Just because they're traffic agents. Come on, get out of here with that. Give me a break. I, I, I'm I'm hoping that was in jest. But the system's completely broken. Again, there should be police officers just about on every corner in the middle of uh, Manhattan and surrounding areas. Okay? It needs to happen. Because now it's just like it's a free-for-all, and you've literally got people standing around with their cell phones looking for world star hip-hop moments instead of trying to stop the crazy. And the idea that that woman doesn't get detained, at least for some other officers to come and get her, arrest her, put her in the back of a car, is absolutely nuts, in my opinion. Guys, we're doing three, four, five, six, sometimes seven videos a day. I still, I still believe I will get ten videos out in a day sometime soon. I'm completely on my own. I need you to hit that like, share, and subscribe button, especially if you're not subscribed. Get on it. Come to the Burmas Brigade. We're talking Jimmy Saville, Epstein, uh, Big China Tech Espionage, Quantum Mechanics, UFOs. I usually don't talk UFOs, but I think I did an interesting one on that. So much more. Nexium, we're definitely going to be following what the sentencing is like there. We've been talking about Bohemian Grove coming up July 10th to the 28th and so much more. And guys, the trolls are on me. The trolls are everywhere. Every single one of my vo videos, including this one, will be reported. So it has to go through manual review, whether the algorithm flags it or not. I've got people making uh, multiple accounts in my little chat streams. You're seeing them to attack me uh, because they don't like actual independent media. They don't like the fact that, hey, we have a guy 
who is not about left or right politics. He's not partisan. He's not part of the Trump train, but he's not afraid to give Trump credit when he deserves it. And he's not afraid to call him out on his bullshit. Isn't that what we want? Discernment? I, I mean, that's, that's how I do it. So if you like what I do, any little bit, it really helps. Five, ten, fifteen dollars. I'm doing a GoFundMe. Burma's Brigade Media Month one. If I can earn five thousand dollars a month doing this, I will continue to do thirty to fifty and hopefully more than that. Thirty to fifty videos a week about real issues. So guys, I thank you so much for uh, watching and I'll see you on the flip side.